Welcome to Two Guys in a Podcast. I'm Tom. And I'm Mike. Back at you with another reaction video. Booyah! So, another, and I'm going to stop saying this sooner or later. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of them. Link in the comments. Here we go. So this one is uh, Paul Mooney, which oh. you don't see anywhere on the screen, but if you look at the description of what was sent to us, that was his name. That's how we found it. Yeah, don't know this guy at all. No. UFOs, black and white acting, schools and animals. Should be interesting. The title. Yep. So, stand by while we get after it. Shut, Shut up, up and sit down. down. All right, we're back. Paul Mooney. Paul Mooney. In the description, uh, it has his name on this video. So we appreciate the link someone sent. We clicked it. Uh, I'd never heard of this guy. We watched a couple seconds of it. seconds, don't know anything about him. So another true reaction from him, two guys on the podcast. Sitting up on a stage. Hopefully funny. We'll see. Let's go. Martians ain't never did shit to me. I'm looking at your white ass. You my alien. I'm going to keep my eye on you. <laughs> shit, you the one that told me I couldn't go to Denny's. I'm going to watch you. Look it up. I don't believe in no UFOs unless it land in the Mexican neighborhood. Then I believe it. Let it land over there. Let it stay there for a minute. It'll be upon boxes. The Mexicans will take all that shit off that UFO. And if it stay there too long, it'll be at the red light. Definitely the white folks, they're so good. They, we gotta learn to act, niggas. They're so good. You seen them on the news? They're so. Ain't they good? <laughs> They'll cry to drop a hat. <laughs> the niggas, white folks cry. Shit. <laughs> they came in the middle of the night. Always in the middle of the night. <laughs> they took all my clothes. <laughs> There was bright lights and there was, there was a ring and there was. And they ask niggas that shit, they don't believe us. Niggas start crying. <laughs> what you see, nigga? <laughs> oh, nigga, there's no need to cry. Stop it, nigga. <laughs> it was bright lights. Uh, police lights, nigga, please. What are you doing out in the desert, nigga? <laughs> vacation. You niggas don't have jobs. You're not vacationing. <laughs> They don't believe us, but they believe white folks. We gotta learn to cry and faint, cause white folks are faint. You ever seen the bank and there's a robbery, somebody come in, they, uh, they will faint till that shit is over with. And I give it up to white folks. They know what to say in court. Niggas, we don't know what to say. Them white folks know how they, oh, serial killers, you know that. I saw some shit on Showtime where them serial killers from driving from the state state killing people and wasn't stopping for gas. That shit, I was by myself, that shit scared shit out of me. I tried to turn to HBO. I got scared. Because they crazy. White folks will kill you. They don't even have to know you. Why you kill? <laughs> you see them dead. Crazy as cat shit. And got all the answers in court. They asked crazy white man. Crazy white man, why don't you kill your wife? I was sleepwalking. This is a very unusual case. We'll have to study it. Crazy nigga, why'd you kill your wife? I was sleepwalking. Oh nigga, really? Well, we're going to put you to sleep. We're going to put an end to all of this. No nigga, there'll be no more walking around. Crazy white man, why did you wake up? and kill everybody in the house. I don't remember. He doesn't remember. What an unusual case. We'll have to study this. Crazy nigga, why did you wake up in the project and kill everybody? Man? I don't remember. 2,000 years, nigga, I bet you will remember. Crazy white man, why did you wake up and kill everybody on your block? I'm 12 different personalities. Different people. How unusual. We'll have to study this. Crazy nigga, why did you wake up and kill everybody at BET or your job? Because I'm 12 different personalities. Oh, really, nigga? Well, pick who you want to be, because some nigga's going to jail. Ah, Fred, you don't give a damn. A nigga's going to jail today. They don't let us get away with bullshit. 
my folks can talk shit all day long. And everybody believes it. The complexion for the protection. Look at that white man. Has all, he'll say anything. Niggas, Puerto Ricans, aren't you right on a wall that's against the law? Graffiti! Then he'll find a mountain and put his face on it. Oh, he's a bitch. Read my lips. This white man's in the space program has lost two space probes worth $142 million a piece. He's the only person free enough to get on TV. Well, shit happens, let's move on. Let a nigga lose one space probe. They will build a rocket ship. Nigga, get in the rocket ship. Go find space probes. Don't come back, nigga, if you don't find it. And take this little ugly ass monkey with you. But I want to ask white folks, why are white people obsessed with wild animals? What is the trip with them? They're always trying to train some of our animals. Those are our animals. We come, black folks, we come from where wild animals live. We don't give a damn about nothing wild. When's the last time you seen a nigga on an elephant? <laughs> it's white folks. They can't help themselves. They try to train shit. They've been talking to some gorilla for 20 years, Coco. Remember you said, Coco, stick, pussy, titty, Coco. Coco suck. Freaks. Always trying to train some shit. Sea World, they're trying to ride some shit. What is wrong with them? Hop, trip. What is the matter with white folks? Sticking their head in the lion's head and... Trying to train a bear and a, a, a mountain lion and a black pen. This is something wrong with them. And don't mention a monkey. They are fascinated with monkeys. We don't give a damn about a monkey. You could be talking to a monkey and the white person come by in five minutes. They know all the monkey's business. The, the, the monkey's name is Dave. He's not from here. What? I'm tired of white folks trying to train wild animals. Train your kids. How about that? Train them. Train them. Sit, stay, leave Still your gun at home. Today. I'm scared of little white kids. They're crazy. And they have on a Catholic uniform and run. Because they will go to school and kill everybody. For no reason. I'm a loner. I'm wearing a black coat. I was molested. I'm going to kill everybody. Crazy the last kids. School has changed since I went to school. That shit ain't the same. When I went to school and we went to recess, we all came back. <laughs> you go to recess, now nobody comes back. Where are the rest of it? Somebody shot them, teacher, they did. <laughs> when I went to school, I gave the teacher an apple. She accepted it. Teacher don't want no goddamn apple. <laughs> Teacher's a freak now. An uh, apple, nigga. I want some dick, nigga. You can you screw, nigga? You know math, you got nine inches, nigga? Get over here, move your ass, nigga! The teacher's a freak now. Teacher, I want a baby. Can you make a baby, nigga? I want two babies. Now, some of you quiet and scared like I'm making this up. You knew it about that white woman screwing that 14-year-old boy. Y'all ought to stop being naive like it's me. Keep and they know white women can get crazy. White lady, we know you can get crazy, so we're going to forgive you. Now, you can't go do nothing with him. We're going to let you go now. It wasn't a week. She was up in front of the house giving him head. A freak. And y'all are so naive. School started at 9. Your child is up at 5 in the morning drinking coffee and whistling. He's screwing. Getting A pluses because he's laying pipe. Teacher's a freak. <laughs> School has changed. It's a goddamn shame. It's white folks. Something wrong with them. That animal stuff, they're freaks. And the animals know. They know like we know. Go to the zoo. The animals, those animals know that white folks caught them and locked them up. Go take your white friends to the zoo. Watch it. And you don't hate when you see it. Watch where the animals stare at them. <laughs> If they get too close, they'll bite them. Take niggas. Take 15 and 16 niggas over there. Them animals get so happy. 
They see that many niggas, they think they're going home. Think they're going home. What the fuck? Dude, they So that's funny because just last, just this week in the news, I read about a story of a te another teacher, 27 year old teacher, that had sex with a 13 year old boy. They're insane, dude. That seems kind of old. It's, I, I was just going to look because usually you care about this stuff, but I'm going to look because Paul Mooney, is he still alive is the question. Alexa, is Paul Mooney still alive? Paul Mooney is still alive. He's 77 years old. Damn. So. 77 years old. Shout out to Paul. He's 77 years old. Yeah. But that I've not heard it. That had to be. Well, okay. So here's one thing. Usually Tom notices this shit, but I noticed. Did you notice something about the audience? Not one white person. Yeah. Watch the clip. Did you notice there's the, the whole clip one... he was like staring at like the same person? Well, I didn't notice that, but I just noticed there's not one white person in the audience that I saw. So that had to be a long time ago. Long time ago. Like, okay. No, but think what, about like, it because... Like how are you making that? Okay, because if you recall... Probably 30, 35, 40 years ago, you wouldn't have mixed races in a comedy club. Yeah, I don't know. But, correct me if I'm wrong, watch the video, tell me if you see one, black, one white person in that audience. No Mexicans, no Orientals, no whites. No, but I, I mean, I don't, I don't think you can look at that and go that that was I bet you that was at least that 30 years been, ago. That could have been in a, in a club... In a in a black club or in. Also, think about this. How he was talking about white folks, like he was grouping himself. Comedians today don't don't deliver it the same way. Yeah, they're impartial to it. Yeah, so it's just interesting to me. So, <clears throat> anyway, I don't think he's still doing comedy, but maybe. Paul Gladney is his real name. I looked up Paul Mooney. Stage name Google. Paul Mooney is an American comedian, writer, social critic, and television and film actor. He's best known for being on The Chappelle Show and a comedian writer for Richard Pryor. Nice. Oh, bitch. Funny guy, though. Thanks for yeah, that was fun. hanging out with us. We may have to pull up some of his stuff. Born in 41. But that's good shit, man. Wow. All right. Good. Good suggestion. Paul Mooney. Good lady. <clears throat> See if we can find any more of his. I haven't, I haven't never come across his stuff, but we'll no, see. We'll, we'll definitely do do his stuff again. All right. Well, appreciate it. Thanks for hanging with us. Subscribe, like, notification, all that jazz, and uh, keep the links coming. Get ideas for other shows too. It doesn't always have to be a comedy routine and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, we did a dance even, one that should well, be coming. It doesn't even out have soon. to be a reaction video. It could be anything, right? Give us ideas just to talk about. We can just bum gums and talk about it. So appreciate your support. Thanks, Mike. Thanks, Tom. Deuces.